Hi, I'm Joe, and this week on A Smarter Home Canada, we're going to be taking a second look at programming automations using the Google Script function. This time, as opposed to last time, we're going to be using the Help Me Script option that is on the home.google.com page. If you remember from the last time, I'm not a programmer. If you want to watch that video, I'll have it linked up here, and you get to see how poorly that video turned out. It's this time, however, like I said, we're going to be using the Help Me Script option and see if I can come up with something better. I have had to give up with trying to script the outdoor hot tub time routine that I was working on. The main problem I was having was I could not get YouTube music to properly randomize a playlist. This, I guess, is a YouTube music problem. In this video, I'm going to do three routines. At the end, I'm going to take the three routines, merge them into one, and see if we can get that to work. It's probably going to be a dumpster fire. We'll find out after the jump. The automation I want to do today is I want to change the room behind me, my family room, into either the yellow alert or red alert status from Star Trek. The first one I'm going to do is the yellow alert status and I'm going to use the help me script function from Google to do that. The red alert, I'm going to take what I learned and see if I can make it better. Backing up just a little bit, when I first tried to set up these automations, my plan was I was just going to do one big long automation where I'd type in everything that I wanted Google script to do and it would spit out an automation for me. Uh, I started very general and kind of expanded out from there. One thing I ran into is Google can get pretty creative. For example, when I typed in, turn my home into the bridge of the Starship Enterprise being attacked, this is the script it popped out. Now, if you look at that script, when somebody rings my doorbell, it turns on a bunch of lights and uh, starts playing the Imperial March for some reason. Now, that would be great for when my mother-in-law visits, but not really what I wanted. The other problem I encountered was once I got to the point where I had all the commands listed that I wanted Google to script, it only outputs about 20 to 30 lines at once and will just ignore the rest. So what I'll have to do is take each section of what I want the routine to do, break it down to simple commands that Google can follow, and then take that segment of the program, copy it over to the main sheet, and then put in the next part of the script that I want to happen. So now it's finally time to start programming. I've got everything ready. I've got my laptop. I've got my programming fuel. Everything I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be showing in this section here, just like always. The first few steps are going to be really simple. You're just going to go to home.google.com, select the automations tab. Once that's loaded, we're just going to go to the bottom corner and click the add new button. That's going to call up the automation page and we're just going to select everything that is in the sample, delete that out. And that's going to give us a nice clean page to work with. The first part of the script is our trigger and then our first action. So I'm going to type into the box when I say yellow alert, respond with activating shields, yellow alert, captain to the bridge, yellow alert, and we'll see what comes out. And we're just going to copy that over to the main section of our script. Now I did clean up a few syntax errors that uh, were from copying it over, but this is basically what was spit out. Uh, one main error I can see is that it wants to broadcast to the backyard speaker. I think it is doing that because I have other routines that broadcast to my backyard speaker and it's just assuming that that's what I want this to run on. I'm just going to change that to my family room Wi-Fi speaker, but besides that, this looks like it should work. I'm not going to test any Thing until the very end just to see. I am going to put both finished scripts down in the description below. While you're there, hit the like and subscribe button. I would really appreciate it if you did that. And then that way you can follow us along with our future adventures. The next thing we want to do in the automation is change the lights to yellow. In the area, I have two groups of lights. I have my TV area lights, which are two Govi backlit lights. And then I have my family room lights, which I think are also Govi light uh, that can do millions of colors. We just want to switch all of those initially to yellow. And to do that, we're going to type in the following. Change the TV area and the family room to yellow. Press enter, 
and see what comes up. It does give me all brand new metadata, automation starters. In this one, we are only going to be interested in the actions part of what the help me script puts out because we already have our metadata and our starter. So we're just gonna copy action section over to our action section that is in the script editor. Couple of problems I see there. One, it's only activating one of the TV lights and one of the family room lights where there's two TV lights and there are three family room lights. Once again, I'm just gonna leave it and that'll all be updated hopefully if I can program a, a full red alert routine. Now that the lights are on, we want to add a bit of sound to the routine. So I'm just gonna type in here, play yellow alert sounds and hopefully the AI in the Google is using will be able to figure out what I want and play something through my speaker. So let's see. Once again, we're only gonna be using the type. This is what it came out with. Again, chose the back garden speaker as the device to run it on. So I'm gonna to have to change that. Besides that, this section also looks good. What we want for the last part of the routine is to flash the family room lights and the TV area lights. I want them to flash for about 20 seconds or so. I don't want this to get too annoying. Just something fun you can throw on every once in a while. If you want to extend it, go ahead. The prompt I'm going to use is flash the family room lights and the TV area lights on and off for 20 seconds. Pretty straightforward. Let's see what it does. Now this is where we run into a little bit of a problem. Because the help me script option will only output about 30 some odd lines of code, it just stops part way through. But we have enough here that I'm able to take the section that I need and I'll just copy it over and over again in, until I get everything into the script that I want. Now there are a few things wrong with this script. So before I'm going to copy and paste it all through, I'm going to correct one major flaw that I saw that I don't think it'll be able to get around. It's trying to call the TV area, TV area lights. That isn't going to work. So I'm just going to pick the correct one from the drop down menu and then copy and paste this as many times as I need. And that's gonna bring us to the end of the routine where I just want everything to reset. I'm just going to ask Google to change the lights back to a bright white as opposed to leaving them in a yellow state. And as expected, uh, Google kinda got it right, but not completely, but it does look like it's gonna function. So I'm just gonna copy and paste into our main routine and that's gonna finish that section off. All that's left is gonna be the testing section. So I'm gonna go get myself another beer and then we're gonna test this routine out, see how it worked. Yellow alert. Well, that was our yellow alert test. Um, could have been better. We knew it was gonna be like that right from the start. It wasn't calling all the proper lights that it was supposed to. A few weird things happened. We wanted everything to run through the family Wi-Fi speaker. And for some reason, even though in the script it said to use the, that speaker, my bathroom speaker started talking and some of the words were coming out of there. That I have no idea since nowhere in the routine is it telling it to do that. I'd say it was a fail. What I'm going to do now is take what I learned from the help me script options and create my own red alert routine using all the right lights. Most of it will be just boring programming stuff by selecting all the light fixtures. So I'm not gonna record that. That's just gonna be very boring. So let's see how I did in just a minute here. Red alert. Alert. 
So that seemed to be much better. I'm, I'm really quite happy with how it came out. I, I got all the lights working. I just wish they would flash in sync, but I don't know how to do that. I don't know if they're even able to do that. Once again, it responded from multiple speakers instead of just the one speaker that I have programmed into the routine. Up front, it initially was just responding through one speaker, but as time went on and the more I tested it, it would bring other speakers into the routine where it shouldn't. The sound effects I did have to do a little different instead of just calling Google to play yellow alert sounds or red alert sounds. I did make a YouTube playlist and had that being called to play the sound effects. I found that more consistent and probably a better way to do it. One last thing I wanted to do was put Star Trek videos on my three main screens. Unfortunately, I couldn't figure out how to do that. I couldn't get the Help Me script to even come close to playing what I wanted. If somebody knows how to do that, leave me a comment and I... I want to add that in and I'll add that to the to the script. The videos you saw on the screen were just, uh, I had a picture of the red alert and yellow alert and then I had just a screensaver on the main screen. Those are the major changes that I made and if you want to use my script as a base for your own, go ahead. It's down in the description. It's free to use. Well, that's going to be it for this video. I do hope you learned something. I do hope you make your own routine. And I do hope in the future you use AI to help you make scripts to automate your home. This is just a quick tutorial of me doing something stupid that you can expand on. If you did like the video, hit the like button. I really appreciate it every time somebody does that. If you want to subscribe to the channel, please do. Click the button. Click on the beaver once it shows up during the end song. If you didn't, I don't care. I'm just an old Canadian guy in his new Canadian home trying to make it a little bit smarter and having some fun while doing it. Thanks for watching. Red alert at home. Lights flash and silence blare. Automated systems taking me to a world beyond compare. Every room transforms into the USS Enterprise. Living the Star Trek dream. Can't believe my eyes.